Hello everybody. I wanted to show you my table. Yes, I had a sign made. It's plexiglass. It's got like a film on it. That's what the print's on. I'll do a video on that a little later. What I really wanted to do was come up with some cool stealth lighting ideas to illuminate your pro event table. I'm just playing around with some stuff today. So I want to show you what I got. This method I'm doing right here is pretty cool. I've got a hot spot down here as you can see, but other than that, I'm pretty happy with it. And it costs like, I don't know, 150 bucks map. Let me show you what I did. All right, so as you guys know, this is the tabletop. If I lift this off of here, you'll see what I've done. I have mounted an ADJ profile panel RGBA onto the cross section bar right here. I did it with an old clamp from my old Duratrust system. It fits pretty well. And what it does is it brings this light into a position where it'd be very hard for an audience member to see it. Now something else I want to show you, if I flip this light around, you'll see that I've put a light shaping filter on here. You can pull it out and not use it if you don't want to, or you can put it in. Uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, it does kind of increase the beam angle a little bit, makes it a little less harsh and takes away some of the lines. So there's idea number one. Here's another option. I took a UB12 bar and I hung it from the support beam on the back of the table. Aimed it just right. It's illuminating my sign. It's warming the truss and kind of lighting the booth up. I think it's kind of a nice look. It does have problems though. One problem is if you're sitting down and just at the right angle, you may see the light. But it does work and it keeps stuff up off the floor so you're not seeing the lights right down here. For the most part, it's hidden. So I almost really hate showing you this option because you can't buy this product anymore. It's the Wi-Fi wash bar, but usually when I've got a situation where I gotta light something up under a table, be it scrimmed or whatever, this is the solution. Here's how I did it. I used those same clamps from that very old Duratrust crank stand system. I put two clamps on the light, hung it from the rear support bar, and aimed it straight down. The wash on this thing is so wide and so good that it creates this effect. My sign's illuminated. The whole area under the table is illuminated and the truss is warmed all in one shot. So yeah, unfortunately you can't go out and buy this, but yeah, some kind of wash fixture would be good for you. The other cool thing about it is it's so short, it's not like a meter long or anything. It's like, I don't know, maybe not even quite half a meter. So it hides behind the sign really well. So that's probably my solution here. I'll put it on some kind of chase or whatever. I can even hook this up to an any one and do a chase on it because it is Wi-Fi. So no problem. I can control it without messing with it if I want to. Or I could put it on a static color. Alternately, I could put it on a slow fade or whatever I want to do. But yeah, that looks like probably the answer to my problem. But now, yeah, we still need to find a solution for everybody else out there. So stay tuned for a video on the sign coming up soon, and I'll keep working on this. Always looking for ideas. If you got ideas, let us know in the comment section. And if you're in the DJ Video Cave, show us a video in the comment section, and let's see what we can come up with together. Practice and enjoy.